Welcome back to Varela Model Painting. This video is part two of how to paint space walls. Um, in this video I'm going to show how to do all the details on the miniature. Um, if you haven't seen part one, go and check that out. It's on the channel. Um, that just shows you how to get the stage, how to base coat the model like this and wash it. So, um, to start, which I didn't show you last video, we're going to use the organ flesh wash. Um, which on the new paints it's called Reichland Flesh Shade. So that's the new paints wash which aren't out yet. So a little bit of water on your wash brush, a tiny bit of organ flesh, very small amount with a bit of water. Now what we're gonna do with the organ flesh is where you painted yellow shoulder pad, just gonna drop it into the recess like that just so the difference between the yellow and the shadow grey is just less obvious so we're going to paint over the whole shoulder pad and I've also did a little bit on his knee there as well so I'll just paint it over there it's just to make the, the yellow a bit warmer um, so that's a really quick little step that I've just done there so now we're actually ready to move on and do some shading, detail, stuff like that. So the most important part is to start with the armour. Um, so when we're highlighting the armour, we're going to use um, Shadow Grey or the fan if you're using new paints. So I'll show you how I would go about highlighting the armour of this model. Um, Bit of water, I'm using a fine detail brush, um, a detail brush will be fine. So I'll show I'll start on the feet. So what I would usually do is I would highlight around the, the toe of the, the boot like that. And I would also highlight this part here. So any part of the model which is standing out or it's a straight edge, um, you're just going to want to highlight that. Just anywhere you think would look good highlighted. So I've highlighted two areas on the foot around there and I would, I would usually highlight around this area as well. So just do it anywhere you feel is necessary. Um, Another good place I'll show you is on the arm. So I'd usually highlight down the hand here. Along there. And the fingers. So I'll show you on this hand because it's going to be a lot easier for you to see. So you're going to want to do that over the entire model. So once you've done that over the entire model, you're going to get some really nice tones um, in your armour. So I'll just finish that off later and I'll quickly show you how you would highlight um, these sections with, which you should have painted dwarf bronze. Um, so for the highlighting these sections, I'm going to use burnished gold. now. In the new paints, burnished gold is called Auric Armour Gold. Um, so let's get this out. You're going to use your fine detail brush again, and you're just going to want to get a really small amount of this paint. My paint's really watery, so I, I never add any water to it. So I'll, I'll show you on this little detail here how I highlight it. So I pick out areas, any area that isn't a recess with this. Because it's a really nice colour. You just put it into them, them areas, like so. Um, I'll try and find another area where I'll show you. Yeah, here's a good area. So around this part here, 
Use as little as much as you like. I like to use a lot. And just we're just highlighting that. Just adding depth to that colour. So as you can see it's changed quite dramatically, that's what it was before. That's what it is now, so I'll just highlight that. And I'll be back in a second. Um once all the armor and gold is highlighted. Alright, so now we're gonna to wanna to focus on the face. Um I've just finished off all the armor highlights and the gold highlights. So for the face, first we're gonna use a bit of dwarf flesh and then we're gonna move on and highlight with a bit of bleached bone. Now this is a really easy, fast way to paint faces. Um so let's get into it. I'm using a fine beetle brush again. Um I'm gonna use the dwarf flesh to start off with. So um gonna to wanna to add a little bit of water your brush for this paint because you don't want it going too thick. So how we go. Um I'm gonna pick out areas like the nose, the brow, and the forehead. And I'm just gonna I'll show you how I would usually do it. Um, there's no special way to do this easily. Um, it, it's just practice and just knowing which parts of the face um look best with the paint on. So just give it a go yourself and try it out. Um, and cheekbones, they're nice to pick out. Um, ears. I'll, I'll put the model up to the camera in just a second so you can see exactly what I've painted um, so you're not lost um, the chin I'll just turn it for you pick up the chin with this colour um, his lips as well they'd be a nice area to pick out so what we're doing here is we're just lightening his face a little bit Get rid of that. Keeping the dark shade in the recesses like eye sockets and obviously mouth. Um, I'm pretty happy with that, so I'll just give you a little close up of that. Hope you can see that fine. So now We'll move on to the, the, the next highlight, which is going to be bleach bone. So I'll just get that ready. I always want to give your paint a nice shake before you uh, start using them. So same idea, a little bit of water on your brush. Um, don't want it going on too thick. Now this time we're just going to pick out um, like distinctive parts of the nose, especially. Gonna pick out the um the brow again, but not going up onto the forehead this time. Um, other side. We're gonna use this cheekbone. Um. We'll do his chin as well. So that's nearly there. Um, I'll just give you a a little close up to show the areas that I've picked out there. Hope you can see that. Um, so they're the basic areas picked out. I will work into that a little bit more um, off camera just so I can see it easier. Um, we'll be back in a second. As you can see, I've um, finished off the face. I've added um, some eyes and some teeth in there. Obviously, that's just skull white. Uh, a bit of black for the dots in the eyes. So now I'm just going to move on to show you how to paint the hair and the fur on the model. So his hair and this fur here and on his shoulder pad. 
So for this, you're going to need uh, Bistro Brown, and we're also going to need a bit of snake bite leather for his hair to start off with. So I'll show you how I would do that. Um, now, a little bit of Bistro Brown, add it to your brush. Um, and now we're just going to pick out hard points in the hair, like so. Um, just bring out them higher points like on his um, fringe and any parts that are sticking out to give his hair more depth and colour. I'm going for kind of like a light brown hair colour. Um, these are nice colours to use for that. In his little beard thing. Um, so once you've um, used your bistro brown on his hair, you can move on to using a bit of snake bite leather for final highlights. Um, and if you're using new paints, the bistro brown is um, not different. It's it's more fine brown so um you could use the more fine brown um replace the bistro brown and to highlight that out the new colours you're probably gonna want to use scra scra sorry scrag brown um so that's the next step up from that colour so that would match snake by leather um so the, this is just for final highlights on the hair just on the edges like that. And like try and flip the brush away so you create a kind of nice effect on his hair. Now I'll finish this off later. As you can see, nearly finished. Um now I'll quickly show you how to do fur area. So we're gonna use the same colours but a different technique for this fur. So I'm going to use um, a small dry brush, it's the quickest way to do it. You start with your of brown, same as the hair, or if you're using new paints, more on fine brown. Um, get, get a nice, just a little bit on your brush, and scrape it off onto a palette, most of it off onto a palette. So you just got a little bit left on your brush. Um, and I'll show you on this bit of fur here. What we're going to do is, we're just going to, Brush that over. And as you can see, it very slightly changes the colour. Keeps the dark brown in the recesses. And it brings the light brown out over the top. So you want to do that whole bit of fur there. And once you're quite happy with that, all you have to do is move on to your next colour. So. My next colour snake bite leather and the new paints, like I said before, scrag brown. Um get a bit of that on the brush, wipe most of it off on the tile or piece of tissue paper. Um and it's the same idea but what you want to do this time is stay to the, the edges of the fur, because this is where the fur is gonna be lighter on the edges. So we're just covering that up. Now, now at this point, we're going to introduce some new colours into the fur. Um, the first new colour we're going to introduce is Vomit Brown. So, in the new paints, they've changed the name of Vomit Brown to Tau Light Ochre. Um, so, Tau Light Ochre is similar to Tau Sept Ochre um, and I'll just show you an example on a new model over here um, I'll just get that zoomed in for you. So this 
So here's firm between his legs. I've used the same technique. Bistro brown, snake bite leather, uh, vomit brown to highlight. Finally, bleached bone. Um, bleached bone in the newer paints is um, Usha Bitty Bone. Usha Bitty Bone. It's strange. Um, so that's a good example there. And fur on the back there. Um, that's the same deal. I've went to the edge of the fur with a lighter colours. So that's pretty much the hair and fur section of the model. As you can see, I've, I've just finished off the fur, like I said before. Um, you're using Bistro Brown Snake Bite Leather, Vomit Brown then bleached bone um, and like I said before if you're using the new paints all the um, I mentioned before the, the names of the new paints that you would need so now we're going to move on to highlighting these teeth and runes and stuff like that and we're also going to um, highlight the bolt gun on his weapon and we'll highlight the black on the weapon as well so Let's start with the little teeth and runes and stuff like that. So for that you're going to use bleach bone, which is in the new paints, it's called something like Ush, Usha Bitty Bone. Um, so for this, a little bit of water on the, with the bare paint and we're going to go right, just, it's really easy this step, just going around these, these runes and stuff like that. Um, on the uh, on the going over the teeth, just like that, really easy step. Takes two minutes just to go over, not even two minutes. Um, all these little sections. Now, that's as quick as that done. So let's move on to highlight the weapon. So to highlight the weapon you're going to use uh, your, your bolt gun metal paint again which is called lead belcher in the uh, in the new paint which is a peculiar name. So a bit of bolt gun, a little bit of water because it gets thick the older it gets. Um, and we're going to pick out areas like this, just any high area you're just going to pick it out, just give it a bit of a highlight because it's just going to add to the, the model go all the way around these edges here and any bits that point out so we are in the end of the uh, the painting video. Hopefully, all models um on its way to completion. Um, I think after this, all we need to do is highlight the the black part of the gun. Um, I'll finish that off in a sec. So, come to the end, we're going to use some showering granite, which in the new paints is called Storm Vermin Fair. Um. And we're we're just gonna use this to go round the black area. So you want a bit of water, um, in your paint. It's a it's a thick paint. Um, and you're just gonna highlight such areas as edge of the guns like this. Um, the handle of the gun. Like that. Um, just any areas of um, black so that is generally the way you're going to want to do it um, there's only one last step left I think with this model, probably just one of the most important steps and that is to finish his, um, his shoulder pad to show that he's a grey wolf so to do that we're going to start with some mercite red which in the new paints is called Me Mephiston Red um, and we're just gonna it's up to you what kind of pattern you use on this roller pad I'm just gonna show like quite a, a basic pattern to paint on so I'm just gonna 
do like some sort of triangle. Um, I'll show you on another model. Something like that. You know, just a red downward or upward triangle. So, just for the sake of time. You know, it's just, it's, it's really quite easy. You just freehand paint this on first with this red. And then with a lighter one afterwards. Um, this is going to show what kind of water I use. Um, we'll do some close ups at the end of the video of the entire model just so, so you can pick up on any areas that you're um, wondering about and finish your model off. So over the top of this we're going to use Blood Red which in the new paint is Evil Sun Scarlet um, and we're just going to, probably much on there, we're just going to apply this over the top of that Memphis and Red or Memphis and Red um, to create a little triangle um, now I'm just going to make some little finishing touches, make, cover up some mistakes that I've made and then we'll do a, a 360 degree close up so you can see the whole model. Alright so this is a 360 degree view so just so you can see the whole model. So um, let's just go around. Also, what I'll do is, you can use the same techniques I've showed you in this video on more important models such as HQ models. So I've got uh, my Najal Storm Caller over here which I can show you. Um, I've used the exact same techniques as what I've used on this other model when painting Najal. Um, so I'll just show you him. Um, you, so when you get your HQs using the exact same techniques you can create models that look like this. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, subscribe to the channel, like the video and uh, leave any comments if you want to comment on it. So uh, thanks for watching, check the website out.